All right, guys, it's me again, Mr. Bennett, on another one. No, we are on another tracking. We are from here, come to view the thing. Videos. All right, so we are given these triangles TXF, TYF, and TXY. And they ask us to find the length of TF. No, what they are asking us to find is the length, height of this, right? So, if you look at this small triangle here, I hope you guys pause in the video and try it first. You know? I don't have to tell you that. If you want to be good at math, you have to be practicing, alright? I'm not going to say that again. Alright. So, looking at this small triangle right here, it's a right angle triangle. And we give it this side. Now, all we have to do is just leave it. Right over here, it's, it's the same, same cost or time. So to determine which to use, we draw a dotted line from this, so this will be our opposite, this will be our adjacent, and this is our hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the longest side, right? So, boom, let us go. So, this side, we can say sin, opposite over hypotenuse, cos, adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan is opposite over adjacent. I do videos on this, but I want to make sure everyone understands how to use it. Alright, so we're given this, right? So the side that we're given must be included. So we have to include the adjacent side. So only two of them are adjacent. And that is cos and tan. But we then look for the side that we're looking for. We must include it. So we're looking for the opposite. So we could eliminate this from first. But now we're looking for opposite. So this have opposite also. This no have opposite. So we can eliminate this. So it's tan. So therefore, let's go. So it's tan. The angle we are looking for, which is 42 degrees, is equal to opposite over adjacent. The adjacent side is 40. So all we have to do is say tan. Put this over 1. Cross multiply. Tan times tan 42 times 40 is equal to opposite times 1. Anything times 1 or anything. So we have the opposite here. So all we have to do is just say tan 42 times 40. And that is our answer. You can do that in the calculator. Just press tan 42 times 40. Boom. 36. So it's 36 meters. So the length of this is 36 meters. Now they asked us to find the angle, let me just mark the angle, angle x t y. Now it's the angle is in the middle, that's the one we're actually looking for. So we're looking for that angle. But before we can do that, guys, there's something we have to examine. We don't know this. We don't know this. So we can even use the sign rule, right? Well, actually, we could use the sign rule. All of it is fine here. We have to still have to find the length of this. So I'm just gonna do it the easy way. I'm just gonna find this, these two angles, and then I use angles in a triangle. And so all right, let's go. So let us find this one first. Since it looks a little bit easier. Now this is an angle and a straight line. So it's angles and a straight line are up to 180 degrees, right? Everyone should know that. So this angle here is 138. So this angle here is 138 degrees. So we're getting somewhere. So now we can look at the big triangle and find this angle right here. So if we look at it, big triangle, triangle YTF, this would be our opposite. So let us see. Opposite over adjacent, so that's tan again, right? So it's tan opposite, which is 36. Well, this 40 plus 20 would give us 60. So the answer would be tan inverse. When we divide this, we get what? 0 0.7. Let's do it. It will be 0.6. So it's 36 divided by 60. 0.6. And then we find the inverse. So now, what you're gonna do is press shift on your calculator. Press shift, tan. I'm gonna 
Because it gives the inference 0 0.6 and the inference is equal. And then that gives you the angle. So shift, turn. You can see the negative one up the top. 0 0.6. So this is equal to 30.9. I just call it 31 degrees. Because we did so. Put on it up to the nearest one over. So this angle right here is 31 degrees. So now we can easily well find this, right? This angle here. By simply saying angles in a triangle sum up to 180 degrees. So it would be 180. Minus, I'm going to add these two, because all three of them are supposed to give you 180. So this is 180 minus that is 9. So that's 11 degrees. And this is your answer. Even though the question did not ask us to find the length xt, we're not going to teach you that I am. We're just going to find xt. Pause the video and try. Alright, you're back. Alright, so this would be the hypotenuse of a small triangle. So it would be 36 square plus 40 square. Okay. Pythagoras theorem state that the opposite and the adjacent sides square is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Have that on my channel also. So it's 2896. However, we have to find the square root. So let us do that. So this is 53.8. So the answer, the length of this is 53.8. As I said, we could have used um, the sin rule to find, um, we're looking for this, so put this angle over 20 meters, and do each other side. You don't have to search for them side here. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Big up on yourself. Thanks for watching.